Hello and welcome to Catalyze Music Academy. My name is Seth Trisser. I'm an Ableton certified trainer. And for today's quick tip, I want to talk a little bit about MPE, which stands for MIDI Polyphonic Expression, which is one of the new features in Live 11 that I think has a lot of really interesting creative potential. So generally, when we're talking about MPE, there are three different ways you can modulate your sound. And if we take a look at a MIDI clip in Live and go over to the Expression tab right here, we have Pressure, Slide, and Per Note Pitch Bend. So for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna be focusing on the pitch bend. However, I'll probably make other videos later on about slide and pressure because those are also really, really cool. Uh, before we dive too deep into it, generally when you are doing MPE, you generally need a MIDI controller that can send MPE and an instrument that can receive MPE. For the purposes of this video, I'm not gonna be using a MIDI controller. I'm just gonna be using the two instruments in live that can receive MPE, which are wavetable and sampler. So if you don't have an MPE controller, you can still do some really cool stuff with it. So right now I got a little wavetable going on here and some, just a really basic chord progression. It sounds like this. So if I want to do some per note pitch bend or polyphonic pitch bend, uh, you'll notice that if you click on a MIDI note while you're in this expression tab, you have a little automation lane for each one of these notes. So what I could do is I could maybe over the last quarter note of each one of these chords, I could click to add a breakpoint just like you could with any other automation lane and drag this down here. So now this will pitch down from this note down to this note. And I'll do the same thing over here, but this one's gonna go down two semitones from this note over to this other one. And then these two notes stay the same. So if I hit play right now, you're gonna notice this is not gonna work. You're not gonna hear anything or hear anything different. There's no pitch bend, there's no slide in there. So if you're gonna be using a wavetable, we actually need to set this up. And you do this by going into the MPE tab, finding the note pitch bend, and taking this pitch control and turning this all the way up to 48. If this is maxed out at 48, that means one semitone change here will actually equate one semitone change inside of Wavetable. So now if we listen to this, you can actually hear the little slide in this last quarter note. Cool, so now that we got that working, we can go ahead and do this for every single one of our chord changes. So that'll change there, that'll change there. This guy will change here. And then I think this one will go down over here. So now we're getting this nice kind of like sliding, gliding chords from one into the next. Which I think, can work really well, especially in these long kind of slower sounds like this. So that's basically it. You can use this for chord progressions. You can do this for like 808 slides, things like that. It can be a lot of fun. The only thing you really need to know is you need to go into the expression page, change your pitch bends, and then make sure if you're using wavetable, you go to your MPE tab and then make sure you crank this all the way up to 48 on your pitch to make it work. If you are using a sampler, which is the other instrument that receives MPE inside a live, uh, this is the same chord progression, just with a sampler instrument here. Same kind of thing here. And I want to do my same kind of chord modulation is shifting from one to the next. You actually don't need to do anything inside a sampler. It automatically works. So you can hear that slide there. And if we go into our MIDI page over in Sampler, we can see that we have note pitch bend, and then automatically over here, it defaults at 48. So you don't need to change it to 48, it just automatically does it. Whereas inside a wavetable, you have to manually set that. You don't need to set a pitch in here as an option or turn this up, it automatically works without doing any of that simply by having this right here. So that's it, at least as far as note pitch bend goes. Hopefully that's useful for you. You don't need to own an MPE controller to start doing this to create these cool kind of like shifting chords or, or changes or pitch bends. And uh, it can be a lot of fun. It can make some really interesting creative sounds this way. So that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed watching that. If you did, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. I'm releasing videos twice a week on Mondays and Thursdays. On top of that, I'm also streaming on Tuesdays and Fridays at 5 p.m. Mountain Time. So uh, again, thanks for watching and hopefully I will see you soon.